morning, Jay Rockers. Well, it's another extremely foggy morning, and I am solo today. I'm going by myself. I have 50 live shrimp. My main goal is to go look for some lane snapper. Hopefully, I can stay away from the red snapper. That's my main goal. But guys, it is foggy out here. Look at that bridge. But that's the goal, guys. You never know. Plans change. We'll see what happens. But hopefully I can get away from the red snapper. I'm planning on going about 15 miles out. That is the plan. The last time I had that plan, Bobo the weather clown had a different idea for me. But supposedly it's super flat out there. So we will see when we get outside the inlet. And we'll be able to make a better judgment. Wish me luck, guys. Here we go. Well, we made it out here we're right now we're seven miles out i'm gonna sit here and fish here for just a little bit see if i can catch a couple lanes let this see if this fog will lift a little bit and then i'll head out about another seven miles and that's gonna be my goal for today but we'll see what we can do if we're catching some good fish here we might stay but if we're just catching red snapper we're gonna head out a little bit further. all right well first thing i noticed is the water is a lot clearer today we got some clear water out here today i'm gonna take my shrimp a one out circle hook, hook it through the mouth there. I got just a simple fish finder rig, weight swivel. I got about three feet of 40 pound test leader. And we're gonna go straight to the bottom. Oh yeah, we got some super clear water today. No, well, it doesn't look like we have much current. And I didn't get it on film, but I just got literally hooked up to something big. And by the time I could try to hook up the camera, he broke me off. All right, finally got hooked up, guys. Finally, it's been about 10 minutes since I've been here. The first fish I've hooked up to. And it is a lane, and it is a keeper lane. All right, we got the first keeper fish in the box. Nice, nice lane. All right, that is what we're looking for today. Lane. All right, well, we got the first fish in the box different today we got a super clear water and there is absolutely no current which is a big difference from the last five times i've been out here i've been sitting here about 10 minutes i haven't caught a red snapper and that was the first fish i actually hooked into and got to the boat so hopefully we'll just catch some good stuff today hopefully all right guys i got something weird I had a fillet of grunt hanging out the back here. Something decided to eat it. What is that? Oh, a remora. Of all things, a remora. Oh, remora. Come here, buddy. Come here. I was hoping for a shark or something like that to mess around with today. But I got me old stinky butt. Come here, stinky butt. Old stinky butt. See you later, buddy. Oh, well, that's something. All right, got something good, guys. That's something really good. I'm gonna say it's probably a red snapper though. But finally got a good hit. Finally got a good fish to hit. What is that? I can't tell. Come on. Oh, that's a decent size red one. A lot better than those little puny things I was catching the other day. Alright, so so far to today I got 
a lane snapper, a remora, and now a red snapper. See you later, buddy. Beautiful dude. All right, hooked up. Come on, be a lane. Be a lane or a mango. Looking good. Looking like a mango. Looking like a mango. Nice. That's a nice mang right there. All right, so I've caught all three species of snapper this morning. Caught a red snapper, caught a mango snapper, and a lane snapper. Well, guys, I got to say it's been kind of slow out here this morning. The guys right here in front of me, they've hooked two sharks. I got a remora, and I finally caught a, a mango snapper, but I caught a lane, a red snapper, and now a mango snapper. But it has been slow. I've been out here an hour. And that is all I have caught. Hopefully, it'll pick up soon. All right. Uh oh, this might not be a red one. This might be, might be another mango. That's another mango. Another mango. Nice. All righty. I'm on the mangoes. Well, that's two good mangs. Yes, sir. I can't complain about that mango all right i'm going down to the bottom well that's two mango snapper in a row guys well in between those two i did get hooked into something that broke me off could have been a big mango a bigger mango so let's see i'm getting hit right now i didn't get it I didn't get it I think he already got my bait. Oh, he's right there. There we go. Something. Something. I don't know. That's fighting kind of weird. That's a weird fight. Maybe a sheep's head. Or porgy. But a sheep's head. I was right. Look at that. Come here, buddy. All right. Three good fish in a row. Nice. Okay. Fish are starting to wake up now. So now I got four keepers in the box. Sweet. All right, let's do that again. Let's see if I can get one more keeper fish in the box, guys. I've always said if I can get five keepers, I consider that a good day. That is a decent day you get five keepers in the box. Right now I got four. Let's see. That's three keepers in a row. All right, guys. Well, I've just got busted off for the third time this morning since I've been here. I am hooking something that just absolutely, I mean, absolutely just takes me to the rail and busts me off, which is absolutely crazy. So I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's big red snapper, but it could be mango snapper. It very well could be. And the fact that I just caught two keeper mangs in a row, which is kind of leading me to believe it might be bigger mangoes. Might be bigger mangs. But you never know. You never can tell. So I got to rig up real quick. As you see, guys, it doesn't really take me long to rig up. And I tie a clinch knot. That is what I tie. I'm very confident in that knot. So I use it, but a lot of people say different things. There's a fish finder rig. I just did in what, 30 seconds? Oh God, I got something good. I think I got eight by Goliath. That, that's what's going on. All right, I just figured out what's happening. There is a Goliath down there. I'm hooking into fish and he's grabbing them. That's what's going on. Uh, that's probably a grunt. I don't know what this is. That's a little mango. A little mango. Right, well, that is three mangoes in a row, even though this one is not a keeper. That is three mangoes in a row. All right. Got another fish. Might be good. It's not acting like a red one. It's not acting like a red one. It's another mango. Come on. Holy cow. Yes, sir. Another mango. All right. These are perfect size mangoes too. 
perfect ones. Yes. All right, guys. I've reached my five fish in the box. That's what I wanted. So now I'm happy. And I've got three mango snapper. Let's see if I can make a fourth. All right, here we go. This is fighting more like a red one. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. What's up, big old pigfish? Big old pigfish. Guys, look at the size of that dog on pigfish. I mean, that thing is huge. That is a big pigfish. All right, here we go. Feels like a decent fish. This might be a red one, guys. This might be the red one. If it is, it'd be the only second one I've caught today. But it's kind of fighting like a red one. It is kind of fighting like a red one. It's a red one. Yes, sir. Only number two red one for the day. Can't really complain about that, can you? No, sir. See you later, buddy. Nice. All right, guys, I made a little adjustment. Moved about a hundred, about a hundred yards. See if I can't get away from some of these grunts. The grunts are just tearing me to pieces. So let's see what we can do now. Okay, we got something here. Kind of a weird fight, to be honest with you. Strange fight. Another mango, another mango, another keeper mang. All right, that is number four for me. Let's see, let's see I'm checking there. Oh, that's four mangs, guys. Four good mangs. Four really good mangs. I'm so happy right now. That is about as awesome as it gets. That is pretty right. awesome. Hooked up something. This might be a sheep head. This might be a sheep's head. This is acting kind of like a sheep's head. Or a porgy. One of the two. It's acting like a sheep's head or a porgy. It is a sheep's head. I knew that's what it was acting like. Nice. All right, that's two sheep's head. Two good sheep's head. Sweet. Well, guys, the bite has not been on fire, but it has been kind of slow. But the fish I have been getting are fairly good fish. I haven't been slamming red snapper like I normally do out here. I've only caught two so far, and I've got seven fish in the cooler. So I can't really complain. I cannot complain at all. All right, we got a good fish here. Uh oh, it's acting like another sheep's head. This is acting like another sheep. Yep. Sheep or a big porgy. Golly, he's acting like a big sheep. Sheep or a porgy. Sheep, oh, big sheep, big sheep. Oh, that's a netting sheep. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yep. All righty. Sheep's head starting to bite now. Okay, okay, okay. That's a pretty dang good sheep head right there. I will never get tired of cutting sheep's head in 70 feet of water. That just is awesome to me. He was so good. All right. There you go, y'all. Nice sheep head. Keeper, sheeper. Well, guys, this is how you turn a slow bite into a successful day. Persistence, persistence, persistence. I haven't given up. I've stayed. I've moved around just a little bit on the same spot, pretty much. But I've just been persistent all day and I've got eight nice cooler fish. Cannot complain. All right, got something here. I'm not sure what this is. I said it could be another mango. Oh, he might make the 12. 
He might make the 12. Uh-oh. He might make the 12. That'd be the sixth mango I've caught today. If he's 12, it'd be the fifth keeper. He's 11. See you, buddy. Oh, what do I got here? It's not feeling like a grunt. I could be wrong. Oh, it's another lane. Yeah. Another lane. And I think he's a keeper lane. He's a smaller lane, but he is definitely, I think... Definitely think he's keeper. Oh yeah, he's almost 10. That'd be nine, so yep. He's a keeper. So, all right. I got two lanes today. How about it? All right, y'all. There's my catch. Not bad for a solo trip. Not bad at all. Two small lanes. Decent sized sheep's head and some nice mangoes. Not too shabby. Okay, guys. I'm going to call it a day. Not bad for a solo trip. Not bad at all. Very surprising. I only caught two red snapper and I'm just actually fishing the same area that I've been being bombarded by red snapper. But today, they just weren't biting. So I got past them. We got some cooler fish. We got three sheep's head, four mangoes, and two lanes. Not bad, y'all. Thank you guys very much for hanging out with me today and fishing with me today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I say all the time, guys, I appreciate every one of y'all for all the interactions you give on this channel. Thank you so much for the subscribes, the thumbs up, the shares, and definitely all the interaction in the comments section. I look forward to my comments every day. I may not answer every one of them, but I always, always acknowledge every comment. Thank you very much, y'all, and I'll see y'all again. Top Lions, Jody Rockers. See y'all real soon.